Hey, 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 Joyce Mary here. How you doing? Now, you don't want anyone to see you struggle. You, so you walk alone in a crowded space, people all around you, and yet you feel so alone. No one is allowed to see that you doubt and you fear and you hurt. You put on a front and it's a great one. Built over years, it looks fabulous from the outside, like you know it all, like you're invincible, like you always win. The truth is, you are strong, you are powerful, and you do always win, but it feels hard. So hard to keep it all up, to pretend that you know and you don't really know, to never reach out for support because then people might know that you struggle, to always have this cloak of invincibility all around you. And the other unfortunate thing is that all your dreams are trapped in that cloak and it, they're in the tower walls that you've built all around you. They will not see the light of day until uh, while they're hidden, which is very unfortunate. You want that big expansive life and you can have it. You have those dreams and you can make them happen. You simply have to dare to come out of the shell. And so you choose to come on out, but you don't even know how to shed the shell now. That's the thing. It's become such a part of you that you don't know who you are without it. You want to wrap layer upon layer upon layer, and it still feels as though you're trapped beneath years of mistrust, fear, self-doubt, and pain. All those people who hurt you, all those events beyond your control that made you feel scared, um, all those years and years of pain, how do you shift it all? The imposing tower you built to protect you has become a cage that traps you. How do you escape? Honey, you choose to let someone see your struggle. You let someone in. You dare to trust someone, to build, I mean, really deeply trust someone, you know, maybe a coach, maybe a friend, someone who will not pull you out of the fire when it is the fire that burns off the wall and the cage. Someone who will walk with you in the fire, listen to your intuition as to who that person is to be and go and ask for help. I know it's tough for you to admit to needing anyone, basically, or any help at all, but you do want to be free, right? You want the big expansive life, right? You want to feel good on the inside while looking good on the outside, right? Then dare to share your struggle. It doesn't weaken you. It strengthens you to admit that there are some things you cannot do alone. It strengthens you to combine forces with another. And, and there are simply some things that are, you are too close to see, okay? And someone else can see you a lot more clearly than you can. So if you do want to win, get support, honey. Fight for and deliberately design the life you're born to live because you absolutely want to. And if you are that spiritual entrepreneur or creative, whether you're aspiring or you're currently one of that, you're currently that person, and you feel a little bit stuck, can I exhort you to go get my free book? Well, it's not free. It's actually my best-selling book, um, The Freedom Book. You can get it right now for free, okay? Um, it's at rosemarynonnynight.com forward slash free book. Go and get that right now. Until the next time, much love.